Well, good morning again. Daniel Valdez again. Pleasure and honor to talk to you today. It's a good morning out here, man. It's really, really nice out here. So, uh, yeah, let's get, let's get to it. Another one of these uh, little news updates and whatnot. Some good responses here. So let's, uh, let's keep going. Uh, last week, uh, congratulations to everybody who competed at WGI San Antonio. We put San Antonio in quotes because it was actually in New Braunfels. Uh, <laughs> uh, super nice contest. Got to see some of y'all. So it was great seeing uh, a lot of old friends and meeting some new ones. As always, good stuff, especially from the open class uh, uh, scholastic groups that were there. Uh, I want to thank the uh, person or the little girl who sold the who sold me the box of Thin Mints, uh, Girl Scout cookies. They're my favorite. Uh, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, at Dan Pod Valdrez, uh, or on Facebook, uh, I ate the entire box that evening <laughs> after the contest. Uh, and I've been off sugar. I think this is day five now. And uh, thank you all so much for like the supportive messages and words and stuff. That's really neat. Uh, it's, it's gotten out of hand and it's time to, it's time to detox for a while. So, uh, uh, if I sound irritable, uh, that's probably why, or at least it's a really good excuse. Uh, so WJ, uh, San Antonio, great job by everybody. Congratulations. Good stuff there. All right. We need to, and then of course, everybody who put, competed at, uh, uh, the TCGC contest at Aikens and, and, and whatnot. So, uh, great job by everybody. Let's get to this weekend because we got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, that we need to get to, and we need to talk about some uh, some BOA stuff as well. So, WGI stuff. Two contests. WA, WGI Dallas, WGI Houston. Can we get... Does Dallas... Is that like a... Can, is that some sort of contractual obligation? Obligation? Sorry. No sugar, remember. Uh, Dallas and Houston events always... It doesn't matter. DCI, uh, San Antonio... Uh, not San Antonio. DCI, Bands of America, uh you know, WGI, those two cities always have events on the same day. Can we get them, can we get them their own day? I mean, they, I think they deserve it a little bit. So anyways, Dallas, Houston, WGI events going down this week. And by the way, the WGI Dallas event, not only do you have four rounds of Scholastic A groups uh, for Winter Guard, but you get to watch it on Flow Marching. Low marching. That is the very first stream that they're doing for Winter Guard this year. The Dallas, uh, the WGI Dallas uh, Regional. So uh, sign up for a subscription with flowmarching.com. Remember, you get everything WGI. You get all the streaming. You get all of DCI. You get all of the Vans of America contests uh, streamed live to the comfort of your own home or domicile. So uh, get on that real quick. Uh, by the way, Flow Marching did announce that they're streaming every single event. In the Texas tour, every single Texas DCI event will be streamed on flowmarching.com. So if you can't get out to the event, and by the way, tickets are already on sale for all those events except Houston, uh, but they're streaming everything uh, on Flow Marching. So uh, now's a good time to start investing in uh, the streaming schedule and, and that uh, and that app. So get get to it. Okay. All right. Let's talk about a couple things next week. TMEA, Texas Music, Music Educators Association Convention. Uh, kiddos, if you're wondering where your directors are and they didn't tell you where they were going, they're probably in San Antonio having lunch with me. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but they're probably in San Antonio. Uh, massive convention. I love going to this thing. I try to go to at least one of the days. Uh, I will more than likely be there Thursday all day. Uh, there's some clinics I want to go to. There are some uh, concerts I want to see. There's some people I want to uh, touch base with. And a little bit of a teaser. A little bit of a teaser. Next week, uh, I will be recording something not on here. And that's about all I can say right now. Uh, and there will be more details on this. You're probably going to want to pay attention to the social media next week. Because uh, I'm really, really excited about this. And uh, I can't stop smiling about it. So it's gonna it, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I promise. Uh, just stay tuned, and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll talk about it next week. So TMEA convention, if you're there, drop me a line. I'd love to say hi to you. Uh, I always walk around the convention floor and uh, just visit the different booths and talk with a couple of people that I know there. 
Uh, it's always so much fun. There's so much to do. It doesn't matter if you're into marching band, if you're into concert band, if you're into chamber music. There's something for everybody there. It is so, it's almost overwhelming at times with how much stuff there is to do there. I'm going to try to, I want to go to a, a few more clinics than I have been going to in the past. By the way, Dr. Kent, uh, Executive Director of Music for the UIL, is doing a clinic on the new marching band judging sheets, and I think it's happening Thursday evening. So I'm definitely going to go there and uh, probably take notes, and then uh, we can talk about that after the event. So there's that. One thing I want to talk about. Remember January 31st? That happened already. But remember, during the, the beginning of the season, I talked about the BOA applications and how January 31st was a very, very important day in the application process because it is the final day for the postmark. You got to get all your applications in, get all your, mo get all your money in, and get that taken care of by January 31st so you can be available for the, uh, the initial draw for the regionals. So yes, programs are already deciding which regionals are we going to, couple programs are we going to grand nationals or not a lot of that stuff's leaked out already here's my kind of stance on the whole grand nationals thing here's my personally now to each their own i have no issue with it whatsoever to me going to grand nationals is a very very it's a very important step in a program especially programs that haven't either haven't been there before or haven't been in a very, very long time. I like to let the programs announce it themselves. Whether they do it on social media, whether they do it on, you know, whatever. I mean, a lot of programs like to make a big deal out of it, and they should, uh, because it's a, it's a big event. It's a very important event in a young musician's life. And also, fundraising. Hey, we're going to Grand Nationals. Big fundraising event. You can turn that into a, a major fundraiser right then and there. So, uh, as far as what we have confirmed officially in public, we know that Vista Ridge is going to Grand Nationals. We know that Ronald Reagan is going to Grand Nationals. And there are going to be a couple of other programs that, as far as I know, haven't officially announced anything yet. But uh, the couple of there's going to be more programs going to Grand Nationals than what we originally thought. It's the way it looks. So uh, be ready for that. I don't know when the the lists or the the initial lists are going to be released. I don't know sometime in March or something like that. Do we have lists yet? Do we have specific names of where they're going? Not really. Are they out in the webs? Are they out publicly? Not really. I like to tell you all stuff without actually telling you stuff. Know what I mean? So here's what I'll here's what I'll put. Here's what I'll put down. San Antonio Super Regional is October 30th and 31st. What else is on uh, October 31st? Remember, UIL area every year starts in fall 2020. So, area contest for 5A is on the 31st of October. So programs have already made their decision. Or I should say, some programs have already made their decision. Other programs were told by their fine arts coordinator what to do. And sometimes that fine arts coordinator is taking direction from somebody above them. So these 5A programs already know, hey, we're going we, we're gonna to go to the Super Regional. Or hey, we have to go to UIL area. So when the lists come out for San Antonio Super Regional, don't be surprised if there's some names that are not on that list because they've been told, hey, we gotta go to we gotta go to area contest. So don't be surprised if you see some familiar names not on that list. Now, let's go a little bit further because those programs are not on the San Antonio Super Regional list, they're losing out on a big regional. So what do you do? Do you replace that? It's already being replaced with area, but do you add another contest? Maybe, oh gee, I don't know, in the middle of 
uh, in the middle of October in some place, oh, I don't know, in the middle of the state where there's a good chance for uh, several programs to be really successful at this, uh, at this uh, regional. It's possible. I think you're going to be very surprised when the lists come out and uh, you kind of see enrollment numbers and whatnot. Some of the stuff, so yeah, I'm sure it's going to stay the same, like, you know, like like always. But you're going to see, so I, I'm thinking you're going to see some shifts and some numbers. But that's for another day. We'll get to that. No worries at all. So you'll start hearing rumors and stuff like that. I usually don't buy into them very much until I see something official from the program. And when they announce it, then we can talk about it and go crazy and stuff like that. The reason I mentioned Vista Ridge and Ronald Reagan specifically is because they specifically announced that stuff on social media. And I've been told that it's okay to talk about it. <laughs> Everybody else, I've been told to shut up. So uh, I can't wait for this uh, fall season. It's going to be awesome. Lots of, Like I said, lots of stuff going on this weekend. WGI Dallas, On Flow Marching, WGI Austin. So if you're in the area, go to those events. Uh, uh, TCGC's got contests in Willis. They have contests in Houston. And they have a contest in Georgetown as well. Plenty of stuff. I believe the Houston contest at TCGC, it's a percussion event. And there's a lot of percussion stuff going on there. So uh, I think it's at Pasadena Memorial uh, uh, High School. So uh, please get out to those events. I'm not able to do anything this weekend. Uh, pretty busy with work. But uh, if you're able to take in those events, please do. Uh, those programs uh, love your money. So uh, get out there and do that. Remember, TMEA next week. Uh, I'll see if I can do another episode of these before uh, I do what I need to do at TMEA. Like I said, if you're there, drop me a line. Love to say hi to you. And uh, I think I am done here. So with that being said, enjoy your weekend. Have fun. Be safe. And, uh, you know, be nice to one another. I'm out of here. I'll talk to you next week probably. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.